Compassion Without Borders was founded by Mancho and myself 18 years ago, and we started it in Mexico. And our whole focus was trying to offer homeless animals the care they needed when they were sick or injured or abandoned. And also, at the same time, working really hard to prevent those animals from being homeless in the first place through access to care, spay neuter, and programs that prevent animal homelessness. So the rescue component of our work is um, probably our favorite. It's, it's so rewarding because we take animals that would otherwise have no hope. So we're rescuing them from communities where there's just not even a lot of resources for people, much less animals. And we're focusing on the ones that are the most vulnerable, the sick, the injured, the abused. And uh, we take those animals in, we provide them with all the care they need, which sometimes is extensive medical care and surgery. Sometimes it's more emotional if it's been an abuse situation. And we have several shelters where we do that. We also have foster homes. We always have a lot in our own home. Right now we have four foster animals. And then we find them a, a loving home where they can spend the rest of their life and where we'll never know the hardships that they once faced. We, we started working in, in Mexico and in the United States and it, it was kind of hectic and then we decided to have a kid and it never occurred to us to stop the programs, right? Like uh, it just was part of the of his life and that's what he knows, right? He goes with, all, with us in all the adventures and he comes to rescue animals from the landfill in Mexico or in Fresno or goes to the clinics. He's always part of the team. My favorite part about um, rescuing animals is how they're all sad and abused and hurt and then we get to come and help them and give them a new chance to be happy again. I like doing this work and I really want to do it forever. It's, not, it's very helpful and I feel bad for all those poor animals out there. At the end of the day, like uh, all this work that we've been doing for Mexico for us is kind of a kind of a dream come true, and it's kind of a big blur, you know. Like uh, it's just been growing and growing and growing, and we're able to save so many more animals and touch so many more lives and help so much more of the communities that we serve with access to care. And at the end of the day, it's it's a big reward. It actually is. I don't know. We don't see ourselves doing something else. You know, it, the job is not a work for us, it's just like a gift, you know. It's always given us, you know, this really good feeling of that we are able to change at least that little part of the equation that is wrong, right?